Hi guys. Hi guys, Langamata. Today we look up. Welcome back to the channel today. Uh, today, yeah, today. You know, it's not easy this uh, YouTube Malaki, you know. Definitely not as easy as these guys at Adrian, at Bark and Jack and Teddy Baldassar make it look, you know. It uh, takes a lot of effort and it's quite embarrassing sometimes. You know, you stood out in public and, so, you know. And I only do intros. These guys are doing, you know, full videos. Oh well, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there in the end. So, do give this video a like, right? And maybe share it. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Alange. Hi guys, welcome back to Shah Horology. My name is Shah. If you like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Snapchat. We all know that German engineering is world renowned and Lange certainly keeps that flag flying. Today's timepiece is the Lange Grand Lagamatic Platinum which belongs to the Saxonia family of watches by A. Lange and Sony. The simplicity and discretion of this dial is one of the main reasons why I love this watch so much. You're wearing a 95% platinum watch and no one else will be none the wiser. However, flip this watch over and it's all about the show. Lange has put its skill on display in the movement. There's just so much to look at and admire. The cute rotor, the blued screws, the different finishes all handmade. Lange, in my opinion, is the obsessive perfectionist watchmaker. Why else would you manufacture every watch, assemble it, then disassemble it again to make sure everything is fine before final assembly? You can see all this effort in this glorious and elegant timepiece. For me, this brand is pretty much as good as it gets. The case is almost pure platinum, the dial is silver, the indices are gold, the big date is the star of the show at the top of the dial and the seconds display takes care of the bottom of the dial. Dimensions wise, the dial is 40.5 mm, height is 10.5 mm, the look width is 20 mm. Uh, reference number for this particular watch is 309.025, glass is sapphire front and back. Langa offered this reference number in the catalogue from 2003 to 2007. Uh, what do you guys think of the Langamatic? Is it too plain or does it do just enough? Let me know in the comments section below. How would you compare it to the Patek? I mean, are they as good? Better? What's your opinion on it? I Personally, I don't think they're, you know, above Patek. And I don't think they're like too far below either. So, you know, certainly on par. Guys, once again, thank you so much for watching my videos, your comments and your encouragements. Certainly drive me to do better and bigger videos. So, once again, thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.